Animal behaviorist Allison Hainer's job is pretty amazing. They're working with the animals day in and day out, taking care of them daily care as far as food prep, cleaning, and then also working with them in the shows and training them to do natural behaviors. Hours will vary depending on the work the animal behaviorist is doing. We have a very strict schedule. We have to do certain things at certain times, and that's just the way it goes because we have shows that happen all at certain times. Um, but the day-to-day -day stuff, you never know what an animal's gonna do in the show. In order to work in the animal behaviorist field, you'll need to get a degree in wildlife ecology, psychology, or animal sciences. And you'll have to do a little bit more than getting to know the animals. But I look for pretty outgoing people. A lot of people, you'll find that work at zoos are more um, introverted than extroverted. They enjoy working with animals, but sometimes aren't on the people side. We have to do a lot of guest interaction. We do the shows all, every day. What does the future hold for animal behaviorists? Most zoos are privately funded, so jobs are highly competitive. Allison suggests getting all the experience you can. Pretty much every trainer that I've hired here at the zoo for the training run has had some sort of internship experience or background while they were at college. They went and did that as well. The good news is there are an assortment of areas for animal behaviorists to work in. Zoos, aquariums, research lab, and the list goes on. There's definitely the research side of it where animal behaviorists will work in the research labs and things like that. There is just our keepers here at the zoo are considered animal behaviorists because they're constantly paying attention to the daily behavior of their animals. Depending on what career path you take, animal behavior salary can vary. Generally, you can expect to earn $25,000 to $90,000 a year. Those earning higher salaries are usually administrators. So is this a good career choice for you? Well, I hope you love animals. Definitely having a relationship with animals and really being in tune to what they, what they are doing and how they're acting. Doing this job can be beneficial in more ways than one. If you're having a bad day in the other part of your life and you come in here and work with animals for a couple hours, it kind of falls by the wayside. Thanks guys for joining us, taking a look at the life of an animal behaviorist. Me and Billy, say goodbye.